Hey everyone, it's Yen, and I'm back after not releasing a video for 11 months. A lot of things have happened since then, but I'll leave that to talk about at the very end. Today, I want to be going over some questions and answers of the most common things I see on video comments, as well as things I've just been asked by friends who were interested in low-dose testosterone as well. There are 14 questions in total, and I went ahead and split them up into pre-testosterone questions, questions about while you're taking testosterone and my personal experiences, as well as what happens after you stop taking testosterone. First question, how did I know I wanted to start testosterone? There are a lot of factors to this answer, one of them being I had come out five years prior where I had done a lot of research about testosterone as well as gender identity, and it was always something I was interested in from the very beginning. I had taken steps throughout those five years to address social and physical dysphoria, but the interest uh, still persisted after that. Another factor was I was going through a period of being depressed and anxious when I made the decision. Despite having improved conditions in school, improved family relations since coming out, being financially stable, and having a job secured, I was just uh, at the end of my last year of college. So despite all of those really positive, stable things going on, uh, I, was still, I was still experiencing struggles. And I'd say the final component is I had consistently seen counseling for a variety of reasons. Of course, gender identity was a big part of a lot of those discussions. And I'd also talked to my medical provider about the potential of what would taking testosterone look like, and they answered any questions I had. So I just felt ready and I felt like I needed to try it. I needed to see if it worked for me, and I did it. What did I want out of taking testosterone? The main thing that I wanted out of the experience was to lower my voice. I had researched that that was one of the first changes that happens when you start taking hormones. And I just felt like my voice was always really, really high. And it was one of the first things that encouraged people to use she, her pronouns for me, which are not my pronouns. Although in a lot of public situations, I don't really address it. Uh, another thing that I was okay with, with changing was body weight distribution or a facial shape, although those are changes that are usually very long term and take sometimes years to really show effect. So I wasn't, I wasn't really thinking that I was going to be taking testosterone long enough for those things to kick in, although I wouldn't have minded it. What are things that I did not want to happen while taking testosterone? For me, I really did not want facial hair at all. I'm not someone who's interested in facial hair. I know that's a big plus for some other people. That is something they're looking for, but I kind of made a personal judgment where if any facial hair started to thicken or grow in, I was gonna make the decision to stop taking the testosterone. All right, let's move on to questions about actually taking the dang thing. One of the main questions I get is what kind of testosterone uh, did I take? And it's not that there's different types of testosterone itself, it's more a question about the way it's administered. I got the kind where it was an intramuscular injection, primarily because it was the cheapest option for me and the options that I saw in my local area and medical providers I had access to. Other options though do include subcutaneous injection, uh, a gel form that you can rub on your, I believe, thighs or your shoulders. And there might be new ones coming out. I'm not sure. I haven't really been researching since I first started. Since I was doing intramuscular injection, I get questions about if injection was scary or difficult. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I'm not a really big fan of needles. So yes, it was always anxiety inducing when it was time for my weekly shot. Everyone goes through exper this experience for the most part. Uh, over time, the anxiety didn't really go away from me, but what did improve was my skills. The ability for me to really sit down with all my materials, make sure everything was clean, and administer the injection to myself. I got better physically going through that process, even though mentally I was still kind of uh, nervous about it every single time. 
What was my dosage? This is probably the top comment I get on my videos. I had a prescription for a vial of testosterone that was 10 milliliters and the strength was 100 milligrams per milliliter. So that's the prescription bottle. Uh, my weekly injection was a volume of 0.25 milliliters. That being administered into my body was meaning that I was getting 25 milligrams of testosterone. And it's that 25 milligrams amount that you usually talk to about with your provider on if you want to increase the amount you're taking or decrease and and that's the amount that's usually monitored. How long did I take the testosterone for? Four months. How much did it cost to take the testosterone? Uh, for me, without insurance, I didn't have any insurance at the time, uh, it cost $900 to $1,000. More than 50% of that cost was actually lab tests. Uh, the majority of those costs was not coming from the appointments themselves. It was not coming from the testosterone or the injection materials. Uh, the very first year that you, you take these hormones, they give you a lot of lab tests to monitor various bodily measurements to make sure your body is reacting to it fine and you're all good and healthy and to make sure um, that they know if they should make any adjustments. So if you take testosterone for longer than a year, those, those costs will be much lower than your first initial year. What changes happened when I was taking testosterone and when? Uh, of course, I wanted the voice, and if you've seen some of my past videos, I started feeling changes in my throat when I was talking around the one and a half month mark. But audible changes just from friends and family hearing me talk didn't really kick in until the two and a half month mark for me. And of course, that's different for everyone. Um, your time may be faster or slower than that. One of my most popular videos is a voice change montage. So if you wanna go watch that video, I'll link it in the description and have a little card notification up at the top of the screen. The only other change I really experienced was around three and a half months. I noticed some of my body hair had been getting a little thicker. I didn't grow any new body hair, just whatever hair I already had. Uh, got a little bit thicker. As far as facial hair, I had a little bit more peach fuzz on my upper lip and I did get a little bit of peach fuzz around the cheek area. What changes did not happen while I was on testosterone? So I didn't take it long enough for any of the facial structure or body weight distribution changes to happen. Uh, I did not get any acne problems. My skincare didn't change whatsoever. I also did not have any major changes I noticed in my emotions. The amount of emotions I was feeling before testosterone and during was not affected. Uh, the only effects I really saw in emotions were actually just from being more confident, being happier, and feeling relieved that I was making this decision to take testosterone at my own pace and uh, just try and you know improve my life in a, in a fulfilling way that was valuable to me. But I didn't cry more or cry less. Uh, I didn't really get angrier more or less. Things of that nature, just baseline emotions didn't really change. Let's move on to questions about after stopping testosterone. So why did I stop taking tea? I knew that I probably wouldn't be taking testosterone for long term, and that's something I talked with uh, and that's something I talked to my provider about before I started taking it. Um, I didn't want the facial hair first and foremost, and when it came time to actually taking the testosterone, once my voice lowered enough, I decided I wanted to pause and stop taking it just to get used to the changes and have fun with my new voice. How did I stop taking testosterone? For my experience, I didn't have to go through any gradual decrease or any changes like that. I just stopped taking the injections. Um, of course, I let my medical provider know that I was gonna stop taking the injections and why, and if I was happy with how things were going, they were happy as well. What changes happened when I stopped taking testosterone? Um, if you didn't already know this, voice change is a permanent change on testosterone, so once you stop taking it, your voice will stop lowering, it'll just stay where it is, um, which was the intended effect that I wanted. I didn't change emotionally after stopping testosterone, although I didn't have any changes while I was taking it, so maybe that was just a consistent experience for me. 
Uh, I experienced less body dysphoria because I felt more confident with my voice. And that's about it. All right, to wrap up, our last question is, can I start taking testosterone again or do I want to start taking testosterone again? Uh, I absolutely can if I want to, if that's a decision that I make and I can fund it and everything. Uh, I thought about potentially going on testosterone again to lower my voice a little bit more now that I'm used to the level that it's at. It's actually very jarring to listen to old footage of me talking. Uh, but I'm largely a lot happier and feel like I can manage any anxieties, social or body dysphoria that I have. So I'm in no rush to make that decision or to push forward with that. But I do always leave my options open. And after going through the process once, of course, it's a lot easier to start it again if you want to see more changes and feel that that's the right decision for you. Thank you so much for watching and clicking on this video if you made it through all 14 questions. I'm really happy to be making a video again to do that video audio editing. Uh, I do have a couple ideas about what kind of content I could make for the rest of this channel, um, but it is a hobby. Let me talk about some of those changes that happened in the 11 months I was gone. I graduated college, I have a full-time job now, I have a cat, and I have my own apartment where I live in with no roommates. My life looks very different now than it did uh, approximately a year ago when I started this channel. I have seen a lot of positive feedback though in the comments from all my videos, so if you have any ideas of questions or things you want me to talk about, I would be more than happy to read those or get back to you in the comment section. As I mentioned at the end of the last video I posted, I have saved up for a proper desktop PC where I can have more processing power to record videos, edit, and screen capture if I want to eventually record video games again. But this is just for fun and I guess I'll see where it goes. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.